Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Suresh and we are playing Dishonored 2. I died in the last episode, so uh, somehow I have to do this thing over again, but I don't think it should be present itself in, as a problem for us. I don't have time for games. So this is after we've stolen runes from him, and then I've jumped to my death. It's always gravity that kills me in this game more than anything else. Okay, let's go here instead. Uh, yeah, it's always gravity that kills me in the game. I think in my first deaths is usually to gravity. So what we want to do is go up there. We want to go get that rune again. Let's speed this up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are downstairs again. We can use the same method here. The only thing about this method is I, I probably could upgrade my far reach because then you can pull things, I think, but and that will not make a sound, but this will. And it definitely will make a sound if you... It's kind of hard to know the angles. So, but this will... Okay, cool. So let's see if we can manage to go without doing any clowning mistakes here. I think I don't want to stay around here for too much long because before they will discover me there. So yes, I will go over here. So yes, now we are more or less where we was before. So that's cool. So let's keep going here. I want to find out if that area is a neutral area or not. Because otherwise they will be so spooky. I haven't used the heart on the person so much. I probably should. If I can get down here without... Let's put away our weapons and let's see if they will... And I will quick save. Actually, because I don't want to do this again. Let's find out if they allow us over here. After all, we are masked here, so we could potentially... Hello, man. I'm just a normal citizen. I only just like to use masks. See if she can help. Time game if you are. Hello, musicians. Oh, read. Let's read this. What is it to you? Read this. Oh, this is the song they were singing probably. They say Emily was born where a crown on her head, but all her young life someone wanted her dead. She ascended too soon, or that's what they said. And for long, too long, the streets would run red. Life was not easy for our sweet empress. As a leader of men, she worked hard to impress, but her treaties and backs had little success. And our skies turned him where we lived in distress. Oh man. Is this how our people think about it? A cube, a cube, what is it to you? A feast or famine or nail or screw? A duke from the south, a wild witch's brew. A cube, a cube, what is it to you? Let's see. The walls of Donwall did they help her at all? For all, for our Emily, they were good for a fall. A captain or a trader, they danced at a ball. The walls of Donwell, did they help her at all? No. For every loyal friend that Emily did make, their grieves free betrayers and her lives was ready to take. Whispers in the south, a conspiracy plan. She trusted her elders played into her, her hand, their hands. A cube, a cube, what is this to you? A feast or famine, a nail or a screw? A duke from the south, a wild witch's brew. A cube, a cube, what is this to you? A mystical wo woman, Delia, she called, claimed rights to the thrones, and the dukes she enthralled. She called it magic and some called it fate. Did she do it for love? Did she do it for hate? Now I'm just a poor singer recounting this tale. If I sing it wrongly, I'm dead as a whale. The Duke rules us now, and we know him. We do. So let's raise our glass to the gooks and the coop. 
a cube, a cube, what is it to you? A feast or famine or nail or screw, a duke from the south, a vile witch's brew, a cube, cube, what is it for you? Yeah. Could we it's kind of, did Lila, I think she is the half sister. It's kind of interesting. She was always wanted to have the throne. She is a half sister to Emily. So they, they kind of both have a rightful claim on the throne, and now she has made a cube, putting us down the cube. Yeah, yeah, took us down from the throne, and now we are working to get it all back again. So it's kind of like uh, Delilah is Emily now. She, she is, oh, let's see. And Delilah is Emily now. So, <laughs> so we are getting back to throne again. So it's kind of like a paradox. We always go back and forth around in a cycle that never ends. And special fruit delivery. Cindy, I know it pisses you off that we keep changing the whens and hows of this arrangement. But what choice do we got? It ain't easy to steal fruit from the Grand Palace under the Duke's nose. But it's, but it's the best fruit and you know it, so I expect you to keep it accepting our deliveries, even if we can't predict where and when they are going to drop. we got to make adjustments just like any other business. Elias. Oh yeah, we are chasing the forbidden fruit here, we stole it, and uh, we are at good health after our small incidents at here. So this is probably just fine to go around a bit, I'm just checking the dumpsters because we are homeless and that is what homeless people do no, not always it depends maybe if you're homeless in a, a jungle you you check the trees for fruits and uh, i'm not sure what i want to tell you what i want here so let's go check if it is. oh you look so familiar you yeah, look well. like Please. One of the characters in the first game, I can't remember her name. She was kind of crazy, but she had an outsider mark uh, and could do magic and stuff. And she was just having rats as her friends, but she's very, very familiar to looking for rats. So, yeah, maybe. let's see. Interesting. Some. Yeah, I really, really love what we have done to this game. They have actually managed to upgrade this game. It feels like an upgrade, and that is what I want. Oh, it's one of the boy ladies with her hat, maybe. Uh, yeah, the boy ladies was one of the first games, and we don't have to go to a party to find out who one you need to take out, and then you have to check all the clues, and everyone is masked, and they was kind of dressed in that way. Can I yank this right in front of you? Okay, that seems to be okay. What's going on here? What? Make something new. Oh, damn. Protect me. Oh. You are going to be gone. I just don't know what to try and do. We have friends. Why can't I have friends? Okay, yeah. They can't reach me here. I must be discovered by the guards. I was just taking a friendly stroll, and I think they was in the outskirts of my prayer. I didn't see them. So that they have lost me because I'm standing out of line of sight. They're, they're not moving backwards trying to spot me, but yeah, they must see. I'm <laughs> yeah, I don't think there was anything else for us to do. So let's, let's go here. Instead, and check out what we have created. And yeah, the, the one went for me. I think they was patrolling in that area over there and spotted me while I was checking out the store. But I don't saw anything special in that store, so I'm not feeling like we missed something. But I really want to continue in this direction because I think we have a whole area here. I kind of got spotted it from the other area, but I remember there was some guards upstairs there that we need to try to not go there without being seen i see a very tempting balcony over there so i think we will want to go there this should take me out to the institute or oh, didn't listen what the emily says we have shadows there but the shadows i rather stay more grand guard soldiers best to avoid 
Huh? Where I hear them grunting around. I'm yep, was just trying to get some shadows here so I can feel. <laughs> oh, I have no good, good, uh, good. Oh, nice. I have no clue about the whole area here because I don't want to stay in the middle of the area there because of the roof guards and we have some guards probably at the street level too. So that's why I'm carefully... If I go there, they will probably see me, but I don't see another choice. I can see them there lurking about. Yeah, at least that guard is moving out of the structure. So let's go here. Something, something. This must be the alchemist's apartment. Alexandria Hypatia. Okay, so we have found the alchemist's apartment. Let's just see that we are completely alone here. We don't want to... I have no clue about the layout here. It disturbs me. I would love to... Wait, wait, wait. I have, I have a map. So let's maybe we can find out. Yes, I have a map. That will help. Because if I need to uh, go, I was uh, almost knocked down my tea from my body. So let's see here. Uh, we was over here where I screwed up. We was in this area here where we screwed up. I guess that is the correct area. And then I went this way. And as this area is darkened, it seems to be the place we want to go because it's darkened. That is the place we can go. So that's a clue. We went this way. So yes, and we want to go this way, I think. So yes, now I know uh, where we are. So there is no real reason for me to go outside um, as long as we don't gonna avoid all the guards on the roof and the street level. I think we are more or less alone here, so yes, now I'm not lost any longer. I don't think we have people, so let's uh, start searching this apartment for clues. We have to be extra careful because there are people on the roof that can spot us. So we have the nest keeper. Oh, look at him. Wasn't that the guy we kind of take out with all the blood flies? I think so. So let's read this. Alexander, I have always believed the idea of the blood fly, blood fly nest keepers to be legends or a drunk, drunken miners' talk. Even though members of the Grand Guard have reported putting down belligerent occupants when burning out blood fly infestations. As such, these silver graphs represent a rare sighting. Silver graph, I think they will put a silver graph, this is taken with a camera because you kind of use silver, I think in a very old photographs and stuff. And yeah, there was some kind of metal, so maybe it should be a photograph. Not that that really matters, <laughs> but yes, uh, I'm just trying to, yeah this, is, yeah, this is the slow playthrough. So yes, we can discuss things like that. We can only conclude that the fan final stages of the blood fire fever occasionally result an extraordinary ordinary kind of rain damage, where the host fixates on protecting the nest. The blood flies in turn welcome the afflicted person and thus um, symbiotic relationships results. Yeah, symbiot symbi symbi symbiotic. Oh yeah, symbiotic is when two people benefit from uh, a relationship like, yeah. Uh, I'm no good, but yeah, we, we can have a symbiotic uh, relationship between um, mafia boss and the policeman actually by the policeman. Uh, gets tips from the mafia guy and uh, can take take bad guys and the mafia guy doesn't uh, get thrown in jail. So they are kind of like that to explain that world in case someone doesn't know what it means. And blood fly research never ceases to amaze. If we could procure a sample from the brain of one of these nest keepers, I'd love to observe the effects on rats or wolfhounds in my laboratory. Uh, yeah, not laboratory. Yes, unless you we are, we actually are the mana here, so we can use this one. So let's get grab that one. So yeah, that, that's a nice keeper. Probably a photograph of that. We have health here. We have a bed here. Probably our own. I think we can be careful as long as we're standing in the shadow. Once again, we have a chloroform 
bottle, which I think you can use where you knock people out. You can probably knock a full group of people out with the help of chloroform. So yeah. And we have the Aldermine solution, which one is the one we're using as mana. No one should perish in the mines. I think this is the physician or alchemist that lives here. The so flies have flourished with all the Duke's executions. So we got a key to the apartment. We also have a uh, one of these. I spend less and less time here at my apartment, but my work at Adamire demands it. After the horrible failures of my first serum, I'm more determined than ever to help the miners. It's not my say how hard the Duke and his cronies drive the workers, but until he sees reason, I'll do what I can to make their lives better and to provide comfort to their families. It's my obsession, this work, and the impact it will have on the least privileged people in Karnaka. Studying the original plague elixirs. I'm close to something. When I find Hypatia, I'll see what she knows about the crown killer. I think we need to find her, and this is our lab slash apartment. One charm's nearby. I thought we didn't have anyone near nearby. We have one directly under us, so yeah, that is something, something. Nice, and uh, so I don't think butterflies. I mean, mostly made that for surely because she said something about the butterflies. Yes, I told her you know, I'm hating butterflies because I'm a five year old boy that tries to taunt my sister and saying I hate unicorns and stuff, and butterflies, of course. Uh, so. What to do? We, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Our torch has gaze. Let's get out. That's some of. Wait. I think souls is some money. So we have another room behind, uh, downstairs, directly downstairs from us. We have a bird here. What? Is that a bird? Yeah, I think it's an art piece. And we have some crocodile things here. Miss Curious, is there something inside here? I'm just trying to stay out of sight uh, from these guys, that's why I'm <laughs> so jumping around. There, yeah, there. Okay, cool. So, let's get our dark gaze going. We haven't missed anything here. I think, don't, I don't believe we have. So, let's go down. Always down. We have the. We have the. Otherwise, you can always use your pistols uh, and to shoot the door out. Uh, you can use the pistol. Nice. Interesting art. Kind of like scary something and dark. Okay. Let's see. Don't see. Let's get our weapons out. We will not even need our weapon. Oh, I get it. Remember, I went all the way from the stars, all the, all the way there, and then I jumped down here, and I was watching this from outside. So yes, I'm starting to make a metal ma map of this. We have some light upstairs, so a little bit freaked out about this area here. Let's not go out on the street. Looks like... Wow. There is a lot of safers here. Try to unlock me. Of course. Haha. <laughs> Bone charm. Cool. Let's get our weapons gone so we don't freak someone out. They usually don't freak out about the weapons. But I'm not sure about it, but yes, I'm just trying to be feral. So you, could I just speak with you without you freaking out? I don't think so, you would probably have seen me. I, I think you are. I want to, uh, sorry, but I need to uh, take a loan. Uh, Charlene wrote to me that I was not stealing, I'm taking a loan. Yes, I'm gonna take a loan in your uh, apartment, but the thing is, if you see me take a loan, you will be just misunderstand the whole uh, loan, so we have to kind of put you here. So you... Oh! 
key. Okay, let's read the note first. Oh yeah, Doctor, dear Sir Royal, I'm working so late these days. I might as well sleep at Adermeyer. I know it's not good for my health, and a doctor should know better. You're totally right, but I have the feeling I'm about to discover something important. Something that will improve my Adermeyer solution. Would you be so kind as to water my plants a few days? And you do a better job than me anyway. I always forget them. Help yourself to an Alexa in my reserve if you like. I hope Caroline gets better soon. Your neighbor and friend Alexandria. Yeah. But we already been there. We we came that way. We didn't take the street level away. You notice kind of how it is when you are. Okay, so we need to find out the, the clue to this thing here. Uh, so I'm thinking we need to start sneaking around a bit. So the clue is probably over here because this is where he has his cash and stuff. So what I'm kind of freaked out. About the street level standing so close here, yes, we have to be careful. I have to tell myself that fixing all this will So I need to run if I get discovered. Okay, safe contest combination. Oh thank you. It's free free free. I set the combination to free free free. Yes, we are going to running a safe contest. Maybe no one comes into the shop or maybe dozen people come in. Like we had during the parade of the fishmongers five years ago. And I promise you, I promise you, none of these fixed scholar dock workers or their corpse wives are going to guess the recommendation. We are just running around the contents to bring people into the shop and we are lucky. They talk about it over the beers with their friends or at family dinners. See, since they don't know what's inside, they fill it in their blanks. They imagine something as grand as the treasure reserves of Dunwell Tower. We need a business, so keep keep the signs up and stay polite to the knuckleheads who try to open the safe. Okay. Oh, there is money in there. Let's see if I can get that. It's always a little bit finicky to pick them up at that level. Okay, cool. So free, free, free was the, the, the one, two, three is almost as a good code as free, free, free. But yeah, it will take me quite a while. But I'm not a knucklehead. I found this. Okay. So let's see. Free, free, free. Oh, cool. It's clipping inside there, but let's pretend we didn't saw that. Okay, cool. So it was. That was quite a hole. Oh, John. Okay, let's see. Bird of the Prey. What's that? Drop us the nations. Yeah. But we don't. I wonder if it works on the non lethal version or. I think the Bird of the Prey otherwise only works if you kill someone. It's not. Uh, the same when you... Okay, I want to check upstairs here first. Let's go there. Oh, that didn't work out. Oh, yeah. Cool. So let's see here if we can find something else. Hmm. Someone just heard a dog bark or something. We we're all on edge. caught the attention of one of the patrolling guards outside, but I don't think he saw me. It was probably just me smashing into things when I was trying to uh, use my far reach. But yeah, maybe there is another. Hmm. I don't see it. I don't know even what's inside here, but, but do I want to make a noise? Yes. I'm just looking for something I can steal the loot. Okay, so, yep, we're more or less done with this. Physics has kept at 
So what we want to do is to go, I always prefer to stay high up when I'm making my movements, but the guards on the roof has made things unnecessarily complicated because usually I can move around freely upstairs. It's just, I would say, that's, that's a really weird piece. There is some guy sitting on a cliff. It's nothing I recognize from the lore of the game, at least. Maybe not. It could be a place. It could be one of the places inside, you know, when you go to the void. This is interesting. Can we go out here? I don't think so. Okay. Could take the guards out with the help of crossbow bolts and sleeper bolts. That's a problem, but I'm not sure how many they are. So I, to be able to be successful in that endeavor, I think I have to scout it out a bit. But it it kind of looks like it's just that guy there. Maybe I should go for it, but they could glide off the roof. That is also a problem that could happen. They could glide off or maybe does someone see them get shot or something. That is one of the grand guards, I think. She is... She is also in red, so that means she is probably more... Oh, she spotted me. I heard her say, huh? Get back to Dunwall. I feel so bad. Haven't seen the kids in two years. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm starting to think that I will make a whole episode just about escape here. Because we are at 27 minutes and going. And I think I want to kinda of scout this place out, but and then sleep all them. That will be, but you know, she said kind of huh when I was out in the light here, so she will be able to spot her. So if I could get her, let's get to know her patrol. I think she is most vulnerable over here in the middle of the roof because the chance of someone seeing her is a lot less than at that side of the roof. So maybe I should just sleep bolt her and get over with. How many sleep bolts do I have? I've only two, so but it will be made good use of it because it, it will allow me to get a higher position than that guard here. Then I can manually take them out with not help, uh, not using the sleep bolts. Yes, I, I think that will be the last thing we will do with this episode. We will also we kind of have a small arc when we shoot so far. So okay, I think it's time now. I think, I think I got her. We want to go over here. It will take some time there. It looks like we... Oh, nice. She just... Oh, man. I thought I missed a, a ledge there. <laughs> Booze. She's a veteran, so she was not a red guard, but yes, I think we made <laughs> Oh, I thought I had missed that corner there. Let's just check here. All hail, all hail the Empress, the, the lie I called with. Yes, that's not us, if you do, was. Okay. I think it's only over there we need to go, so, but it took me a sleep bolt. Those are quite, kind of valuable, but I think it, it allowed me to get to this area here, and I feel we're probably quite safe here. Just let's put her in the corner here, in the dark. I'm sorry about that you haven't seen your kids for two years and then you kind of were gonna wake up on the rooftops and have to explain yourself to the Grand Guard uh, without losing your job. But at least if you lose your job, you'll be, uh, you, you probably can see your kids again, but it would probably be 
maybe they will punish her for that. So I feel a little bit bad. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, prob something is wrong with me. I'm trying to sim I started to synthesize with uh, guards here. So yes, that means that I haven't played this song long enough because I started to care about people. Okay, so that was everything for this episode. As always, thank you for watching.